connection. <sighs> Thanks, Verizon. No, it's Verizon. Okie dokie. Welcome, Facebook. And if, uh, if Frontier will get their act together, we should be we should be solid. Oh yeah, I call them Verizon. It's like calling Heart. Heartline. Heartline. Cause they they're love it. No longer Verizon. We're, we're no longer Heartline. Yeah, you'll always be Heartline to me. <laughs> anyway, hey y'all, what's going on? Hey George. Little inside humor. Yeah, little Tampa Bay humor. Good morning, George. It's good to see all y'all. All, 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 all y'all. It's a. Uh, it's a brisk 68 out, they, t they, they, they tell us. Right? Yes. It's interesting. Good morning. A couple, a couple of weeks ago, when it was 68, I felt, it felt like it was freezing. And now it's fine. You got used to it. I think the humidity is up, too. I need the, I, I need the humidity. <laughs> you never really age. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, I do. I don't. But, but this one, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, tell my knee that. Shan, what's up? What's up? Good to see you. Good Go Knowles. Um, but, um, I, I don't know, could, did we mention it last week? That our anniversary, I don't think we did. Because it was so far into the week. Yeah, we kind of just um, didn't talk about it because we didn't have any big plans. Our plans are for this week. Are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Yes. I got to get some coffee. Because we, um, because of my work and had some things going on and stuff like that, this week is the only week I can really take a few days off for us to, you know, have little, some. A little something. Something. Some little, little something, time something. together. Some something. something. Do a little date day. Well, some, some. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Little smoochy smooch. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got. Um, but. We got married December 5th, 1987. Anybody remember that? Anybody around? Anybody on that was around there? Hey, Alan. Anybody on that was around then? December, December 5th, uh, 1987. On a Saturday. On a Saturday afternoon in the park. It was a little chilly. We woke up. It was like 30 degrees or something. It was really cold. I don't know if it was 30, but it was cold. Uh, really bright, really, really bright sunny day, but it was but it was cold. And I was like, oh my God. And then we were thinking, oh, we may have to move it into the clubhouse. The clubhouse or something. Or something. But, but uh, it was cold, and I went out to the park. We got married at a place, a place here in town called Letters Lake Park. Um... And me and my friend Ted scoped out where we were going to um, have our our nuptials, and uh, I got married in the bathroom at the park because <laughs> he had to go home and and, and change clothes and you got dressed. Yeah, I did. What did I you say? said you got married. You got married in the, in the bathroom. bathroom. I did, did not, not get married. I didn't in get the married bathroom. in the bathroom because that would have been weird. <laughs> that would have been very weird. He got dressed. There would have been no pictures either. <laughs> I got dressed. In the bathroom there, and um, waited for everybody to show up. Everybody, everybody else was somewhere else, and um, and it just got and the sun and the sun was out and it got warmer and warmer. So by the time everyone got there, it was actually okay. It was it, it was a, it, actually a very beautiful. It was day. nice. It was really it was it was really nice. We should do some videos of our pictures. Okay. That we that means that means me. That's me. <laughs> that would be me. Uh, not, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a good idea. But um, I just wanted to spend today and thank everyone for all of the well wishes and happy anniversaries. We on on Facebook we got a, a on my flowers the flowers from from Blooming Days Flower Shop. Um, Blooming Days Flower Shop yes. is located at one one six one eight North Florida Avenue in here in Tampa, Florida three three six one two. Uh, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting good at that. And they're uh, still good. And they're, and they're back there, and, and they're beautiful. And our, um, our friend Christine Vasconcello, who is the owner there, um, was Johnny on the spot. Shout or, out, Christine. She um, did an excellent job. Anyway, does. on the pictures that I posted for that, I got 109 likes on those. Those are beautiful flower, flower roses that um, he got for me. And then we got 32 comments on that. And then 94 likes on the 
picture blog thing that I posted and 74 comments on that. And I just wanted to personally thank everybody for all the happy anniversaries and the likes and the loves and on, all the love. Um, thank, uh, thank, thank you so much for showing the love to, to me and my my honey bunny. You know, it, it's you know, it's you know, one of the things that social media has allowed us to do is is, is to connect to people, and to connect to people from years ago. You know, from either years ago or from across the country. That you may not that you may not see, and you can share what's going on. Now, some people overshare. They do, uh, but you can share the you know the the milestone moments of your life with people, and and celebrate with a, you know with a large community of people. And um, Facebook has allowed us to do that, um, and, and 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 it's cool that so many people when you when you tell them that you've been married thirty two years, their eyes go. Really? Yeah, they, they really. Really. A lot of people at work did that. It's like you, I got the flowers. It's like you killed. Like you. It's like you cured cancer. <laughs> we just. Did you? Did you cure cancer? No, 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 no. Did you defy gravity? No, no, no. Um, we've been married for thirty-two years. So how do you be married for thirty-two years? Stay married. Uh, and that's what this video series is really all about. No, uh, work I it out, stay Mary. What you, is it? We should do like your message yesterday what in church that? was that we don't have a we don't have a, a plan, plan B. B. I don't. We don't have an escape hatch. We don't have a trap door. Um, this is our path. Where well, back is up against it's the a wall. wall all the time. We bring our back with us. There's nowhere to bring turn. The wall with us. There's nowhere. There's nowhere to turn back to. There's nowhere to go. And I think if you have that attitude, and and it may be an attitude that. Our parents or grandparents or great grandparents had when they stayed married for when it wasn't anything for somebody to be married 30, 40 years. It just wasn't anything. They didn't give themselves an out. They didn't give themselves a plan B. There was no prenup. Prenup is a plan B. It's a trap door. It's an mm -hmm. escape hatch. Uh, I mean, and people even talk about it like, well, you can get married, you know, if it doesn't work, and if, and if it doesn't work out, and that's one of the first things they talk about. If it doesn't work out, what do you mean if it doesn't work out? I, You're supposed to mate for life. You what? That's, that's the goal. Uh, is to to mate for life. But I'm not saying that you should be staying in a relationship. Well, things happen. We talk yeah. about that. We, we, we talked about that a lot. You know, things happen. Please don't stay in relationships where your life is in danger. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Or if you are emotionally uh, or verbally abused constantly and it's and it's making you crippling you uh mentally no but if you're in all of your right senses no abuse going on or nothing like that and you're having issues and problems work them out work it out work it out and i really think that that's i really think that's the, that's been that's been the secret it's not all been perfect by any stretch of the imagination, we can't even say that we've been perfect, that either of us have been perfect, or the situations have been great. It's not been a, it's not been, hey Ed and Phil, it's not been 32 years of swinging from the chandelier. Because right now, I can't even jump up to the chandelier to swing from it. <laughs> but, um, but we made the decision, and and we continue to make the decision on a daily basis that th this is our this is our path. This is the path that God has for us. And no matter how dark it gets, every time we take a step forward, it gets it, it, the next step is illuminated. The next step is illuminated, which is encouragement, which is encouragement to keep going the direction you're going. Uh, and it may not, and it may not seem to, it may not seem to you that you know what uh, the the party is right there next. But it may be a while. But if every step you take it gets a little lighter, it's a little lighter every single time you go in the right direction. And you got to make that decision. Yeah, I got a chance to um, to, to to pitch in for Pastor uh, yesterday. He he and his and, and his wife were out of town, so I got to to talk about staying on the path. I don't have a plan B, and I think that, that that's and you're right. I think that's been the secret for, for for me. I don't have a plan B. I don't have an escape hatch. I don't have a trap door. I never thought about. I I never even considered that. That that my marriage wouldn't wouldn't go until I died. 
<laughs> what do the vows say in <laughs> the wedding vow? And and the, and I think this is my own personal opinion. Oh. <laughs> but. Uh oh, y'all write this down. People, you know, they write their own vows, and they they kind of put the. Bible vows to the side and, you know, say, we want to dedicate and write our own vows, which you can do that. That's fine. Do whatever That's you want. fine. Write your own vows. If you say, if there's something that you personally want to vow to your spouse, um, or your partner, or whatever, that's fine. But I think we should stick to what the Bible says in those vows in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, till death do you part. If you listen to those vows, and now, I know we get all emotional and we're so excited. It's wedding day and you get to put that pretty dress on and you know, and, and all the party and all this stuff. But you need to read those vows in the Bible at that 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 are, are said for married people and what they mean and look it over and make sure that you are willing to to do that and i'm not going to say that's what i did when i got married no because it was just because we didn't even get married by a minister in we the didn't, first time no no we got married by a um a justice of the peace yes and the republic yes and and you know, and the vows were said, but, but, but later on, I did commit myself to reading and understanding what it meant. You know, doing those tough times when I really, you, you, when you feel like it, you know, this may not work. Go back to those vows, read them, and and dedicate. You, you know, thinking about what exactly. They say, and what you're supposed to do in a marriage, and that's real. And that's really, uh, that's really a very good key. Is that <clears throat> you have to? It's like anything. You know, it, it, in, in the modern world, the least read p statement is the terms of services for anything. You know, you just keep hitting yes until you get what you want. You know, iTunes may be asking for blood and a kidney and a, and your firstborn. And the firstborn, you like click yes, 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 yes. Click the button and you read Terms of Services. Yes, but you didn't. Until something goes wrong, and then you call in customer service. And they say, it says that in Terms of Services that you signed. You you agreed to this. It was in the fine, fine. It was, it was in the fine print under the fine print. Behind the fine print. But you had a chance to read it, and you didn't. So you, you, agreed, to, you agreed to the Terms of Services. And I think the second thing is that people don't listen to the vows. They don't listen. Exactly. They don't listen to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. They don't listen to what they're agreeing to, and um, and and yes, and it can be daunting. It is when you start talking about committing to an individual for the rest of your life, no matter how sick no matter they how get. how crappy things get, because they may get crappy. It may be awesome. You may live in a hallmark lifestyle, and I pray you do. But you know what? Not everybody lives a hallmark lifestyle. Thing, people get sick, uh, people lose jobs, um, some people lose their homes, their cars, and go through hell. It's tough. Their kids get their kids get wacky. Stuff gets hard. Life can be a little challenging from time to time. Um, but what did you say? What did you commit to? And I think that that's really important. I think Debbie makes a great point. Those vows are that's that's super important. You won't make it. Other than your, um, when you accept Christ, you won't make any more important vows than that. You won't agree to anything more important than your marriage vows. And when it says in sickness and in health, you know, it's, it's amazing to me that, uh, that I, I've talked to people who had the very same surgery that I had. And then just after they got out of the hospital and, and recovered, a few months later, their wife left them. It's tough. It's hard. It, I, I, I understand. It's, it's hard. Because when a person is going through a critical illness and stuff, um, they can be brutal sometimes. Because they don't 
they may not care. You got to be strong enough to care enough about them for them sometimes because it go it it and it goes that way with with me with you know some mental issue you know depression and all that stuff that he has to care for me more than i care for myself sometimes and it's a scary scary deal it can be it can be for sure but 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 what settles you and what and what gives you your firm that firm foundation is what did you say what did you mm -hmm. say you would do and you know, and, and, and what I'm sure of is that if you just do what you said you were going to do, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. That if you don't get off the path, if you don't get crazy, if you don't get off the path, if you don't panic. Now, there may be, there may be times where it seems like, is it time to panic now? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Panic now. This is the perfect time to panic. Push that red button. Push it. Keep pushing until something happens. But... The idea is that if you don't panic, if you stay on the path, if you stay, if you keep true to the agreement and the vow that you made, God will honor that. So if you're struggling right now, I, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I feel like someone, if you're struggling in your relationship right now and you're wondering, why did I even get into this? Why did I do this? That sounds like a movie. That's like, a, that's like a Tyler Perry Why did I get married? Yeah. <laughs> Why did I get married? Because you wanted to. <laughs> go, go back to the to the vows that you made. Even if you've written some yourself, but go back and read the biblical vows that God wanted us to commit to. Go back to the ones that you wrote. Do you still believe it? Yeah. Because sometimes people write some really good vows for themselves. Did you did you believe? Do you still believe it? Or are you willing to hold up to the things that you said you would? That's, and I know, I'm, we're not giving you any, any, any shortcuts. We're not giving you any quick hints and tricks that you can try. It's all just work. We started this uh, almost two years ago. And uh, we're honing in on our second year here very, very soon. And uh, we told you that some days this, this will be tough talk. You know, one of the persons that that, that is a, um, a subscriber on our YouTube channel, which you should be too, by the way, if you're Subscribe. not, um, said to me, you know, I, I asked I, I, I asked her if she had any questions. And, she, and her only question was, how? <laughs> I, said, we, we, I said, what do you mean, how? How? <coughs> how is it, how, how for 30 years? It was 31 years. Ago, how? I said, it seemed like a long time, doesn't it? It's longer than, and it's longer than she's been alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, a lot of the young people at work it's every day. ask me that, and they're like, whoa, I wasn't even born, Miss Debbie. Which is really not the thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that makes me feel great. Thanks. But no, they're, they're, they're about the age of our son, and that, that makes sense. But um, how they after day, day by day step by step stay on the path that's really that and you know what it, it isn't any more complicated than that and it's not any and it's not any easier than that there's you know that there's a billion books written about marriage or marriage relationships and and some of them like my friend Ralph says some some of them you you can read and you eat the chicken and throw away the bone um, most of them written by people who are not married. Most of them written by people who have been divorced 400 times. Uh, Steve Harvey. I, I love my boy Steve Harvey because I think he's hysterical. <laughs> I love Steve Harvey. But Steve Harvey, been, this is his third marriage? I think so. Something like that. Yeah, so if, if he's speaking from getting it from a, from a viewpoint of, I got it wrong, so this is what I'm going to do now. Okay. But maybe not the person to, to be considered an expert in relationships. I think. Um... Because in because in those two failed marriages, the only the, the thing that's in common is him. Uh, so the idea is there are no tricks, there are no things you can do magic all the time. No magic potions. It's day to day, and and it's doing the very best you can to live up to the vows that you made, the things that you said you would do. Yeah, I know. Not easy. Not easy every day, because we're people. 
So I'm challenging you all to you right there. Let us know when was the last time you looked at your vows and recommitted yourself to them. Mm -hmm. Because that was one thing that we did uh, two years ago. Two years ago, 2017. Yeah, we we uh, renewed our vows at our 30th anniversary because we needed a, a renewal, a refreshing. You need to to to. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need Teacher to, says when a bell rings, the angel gives his wing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Way to go, Clarence. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be over here. Focus. <laughs> I'll be over here. Where's my coffee? <laughs> oh, here it is. Anyway, but, uh, but renew, re, uh, reread your vows to each other. You know, um, that's something we should do. We should do. Just, just read them, you know, for ourselves personally. Um, and, and, Think them over and recommit yourself to your spouse. That's a very good idea, and you know what? And a lot of times, the you know the, re, the the renewals ceremonies are for people who didn't get to have a big wedding, didn't get to have a big reception, and now that you're able to, and that's why you do it. Um, I think that that's probably the you know what you can because you can have a party anytime. Mm -hmm. You just throw a party. Just just throw a party. And invite your friends. Um, <clears throat> but if you're going to go to the the trouble of having a, a, a renewal. The idea is to get renewed. Mm -hmm. Refresh. To, to refresh and recommit. Um, and it's amazing that how much that how much that can mean if you take it seriously. Mm -hmm. How much how much th that, that that can mean. It's like you've gone on this roller coaster and it's gotten all the way through to the end and what it needs now is that one more time up the chain. Because it wasn't going to make it up that chain again. So that chain, that renewal, grabs it like a chain and takes it all the way to the top. And now it's got the energy to finish. To finish the run. So that's... And you're screaming all the way down. You're screaming. Yeah, and sometimes it's <laughs> exhilarating. Sometimes it's exhilarating and sometimes it's terrifying. <laughs> that is marriage. <laughs> like a roller coaster. Sometimes it's like, woo! Sometimes I'm like, woo! <laughs> They look a lot, a lot, a lot alike, but the internal thing is different. One's exhilarating, one's terrifying. Uh, Sometimes you want to Oh my god! So, you having fun? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, that that that's that's kind of what that's kind of what it is sometimes. And, and and after thirty-two years, I'm ready for the next thirty. I'm I'm ready for, I'm ready for the next thirty-two years. Because yes. I can't wait to tell people. I've been married six or four years. <laughs> what did I want? Yep, six or four years. The same little girl. I know. <laughs> we met at the Pizza Hut. Man, Pizza Hut? What's a Pizza Hut? <laughs> <laughs> it won't even exist. <laughs> What's a Pizza Hut? You mean a pizza oven? No, well, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you know, it's it, it's uh, the trick is to... To look back at your vows and think today, you know, and 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 the cool thing about being able to wake up every morning is that you get a chance to try it again, even if you jacked it up yesterday, and even some of y'all this morning you got up and, and 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 your spouse went to work and they got they they and get, they told you to make the bed. They got up and they left <laughs> because. One of y'all jacked it up yesterday. Maybe yesterday wasn't the, the perfect day, but you get a day. But you get a chance today to to make it better. You get a chance today to renew. You get a chance today to to restart. My suggestion is to do just that. My suggestion today to do today is to do just that. To restart, renew, refresh every day. Uh, the vows are, are are super super important. Um, <clears throat> so look back at them again, or, or just get some. You know what? If you if you guys wrote some vows, um, that's cool. Um, if you've got that big wedding book of photographs or whatever, go back through it and just look at the pictures and think about how you felt that day. Think about it. 
because it, you know it, it is something that 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 happened. But put yourself back in that you know in that monkey suit and those cruel shoes, and if, and if you and you guys you know who who rented tuxes, you know what I'm talking about. You put those cruel shoes on, and no matter how you put them on, your feet feel like this, like you got them on the wrong feet, and then you change feet, and then you still feel like they're on the wrong feet. You're like, how do they do that? Um, but think about where you were in your mind. Think about where you were in your heart. Think about where you were in your spirit. And the idea is, can you, can you get back there? Can you get back there? <clears throat> will you, will you live up to the words that you say? Will you hold, hold up to the promise that you made? Not just... I mean, not just in front of your spouse, but the people who are attending. Yes. And the, and, and and if you had a church wedding, um, or if you were Christians, it's it's to the, you know, that the 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 commitment that you made to God. Will you live up to that? That's a good point there. That not only did you make that vow to this person, <clears throat> but you made it to God. And you and you had those witnesses there and stuff. If you were chosen to be a witness at, for somebody's wedding, take that seriously. It wasn't just so they could invite you to the party. They could invite you to the party anytime. It was so that you could witness and you could hold those people accountable. accountable. And really, yes. Yeah, so the next mm -hmm. wedding you get invited to, really consider, really consider att attending. Because there's a res there's a responsibility to it, and I know people don't like to talk about that because it's so. I, mean, I just wanted to go and dance and drink and mm -hmm. have fun. Well, then go to the club. But especially if you home. are like the best man or the or matron or maid, maid matron or maid of honor, um, you are not just there to give them the ring and not just to hold stuff for her and all this stuff. You're supposed to make them accountable. You're supposed to stay intact with them and help them when doing during the hard times. There's, and we don't take that serious enough. No, not not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Um, that that you're not there just to get them through the wedding because anybody could do that. You're them. You're there to help help get them through their marriage, through life, and life in general. So and that's another piece. And, um, and 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 if you can do that, and and if you go and do that, you'll and what you guys are going to find is, the second people start taking that, that stuff seriously, marriages will last longer, relationships yes. will relationships will be more stable, um, because we'll we'll be all holding each either each other accountable, and we'll be holding each other up, when things get crazy, so but, I so I think that's really really important because that best man and that maid of honor. You you know those are usually your best friends and stuff, and then you go to them and you're complaining about that person or talking about them or whatever like that. They should stop you and say, "Hey, I was there. Remember what you vowed to him? Remember what you said? But you said, don't just join in the conversation. Oh yeah, oh, he yeah. so he he this yeah. and she that and blah blah blah." You're supposed to hold them accountable to stay together. Because, that, because that's what you said you'd do. Yes. When you said, I'll be your maid of honor. Sure. That's what you said you'd do. And and, 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 this, lend, and this lends to a larger conversation uh, of, of will people, people stand up or stand by their word. Mm -hmm. This lends to a, a larger conversation. Uh, because if they will, then things go better. How many times in, in, in this daily life, in your work life or whatever, would life be easier if people just did what they said they were going to do? If they just did what they said we were do. <laughs> I didn't even ask you to, but if you could just do what you said you were going to do, that would be good. <laughs> I don't even need you to do anything more than that. I just need you to do what you yes. said you were going to do. People always say, I'm giving 110%. There's no oh, such thing. No. You can I only give 100%. Just do what you said you were going to do. Because that's all I really expected. Mm -hmm. And when people don't do that, now we have, we always have problems because because our expectation is just do what you said we were going to do. Are you doing what you said you would do? 
We have to we have to you know look at ourselves and go, am I doing what I said I would do? Am I trying to at least at least attempting to do what I said I would do? So so the vows, and we spent some time on the vows, the vows are very, very important. Um, because it's what you say that will make the difference. Um, and if you will live up to what you said, it will it, it will make your marriage for longer. It will get you through that day to day today thing, and we talked about that before, where we talked about there is a mundaneness that exists in life. Mm -hmm. Whether you get married or not, there's a mon whether you ever get married or not, there's a mundaneness of life, there's a rhythm to it. You will do pretty much the same, same thing, thing every day. And and you, even if that same thing is being a movie star, you will do the same thing every day. And there's a lot of waiting in making movies. And there's a mundaneness to it. Even 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 Hollywood movie stars retire. <laughs> even they take time off because they get bored. It's not just the glamorous. It's a job, and it's every day the same thing. The same thing It's to get up really early, do the makeup. It's you know it's go and do the reading. It's the same thing every day. So there's a mundaneness to life. There's a rhythm to it, no matter what. And as you get older, you have to understand, you, you have to understand that. And as you get married, and, and as a married couple, there will be a mundaneness to it. And that's when you have to renew. That's when you have to look back at the wedding album and, and, remember, the, and remember that excitement. And try to bring that excitement as much as you can to, to the day, present. To current day, so, yeah. 32 years. Just getting started. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> just just getting started. Um, wow. We, well, because because now at, at you know at thirty two or thirty three, and, and and some of you folks who are watching who've been married a while, what, what, what you understand now, what we understand is there's some stuff that now you now you understand. Before you were just living it as but be, as best you can, and now you can look back and go, oh yeah, I get it, I get it. Makes sense. And now you can, and now you get it well enough that you can explain it to other people. We talked about that yesterday, didn't we, a little bit? Didn't we, sir? Yeah, about, uh, about, about when you study for something, study in a way so you can explain to somebody else. But now we're, and we're, we're you know what, in the past couple of years, now we're sort of looking at marriage and relationships and, 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 and studying them in a way that we could share them with you. So hopefully you understand. Hopefully that we can reach you and, and add value to you or your, you and your relationship. Or if you're not married, to your future relationships. Yes. That you don't get into all of this with some weird expectation of what it is. It's not a Hallmark movie. It's not. And if you get a Hallmark movie life, good on you. Perfect for you. Awesome. Awesome. I'm cheering you on if you if you get a Hallmark movie life. Uh, most of us don't. Most of us understand that that's just a movie. And it's great. And we love them, especially at Christmas time. Um, is that movie called A Family Business? My what? favorite one? The curse, no. What's that called? Um, Hang on a second. <laughs> we'll get back to you in a minute. I can't remember. My favorite Hallmark movie. Uh, Where, of course, she gets involved with the um, the young man and his dad is Santa Claus. And the family. <laughs> I just, that's my favorite one. And uh, she sees, like, elves zipping around the barn and then she, and then... She gets called. She's a doctor. She gets called to the. Um, you, guys saw, you guys saw the movie. She gets called to the uh, to the house because one. She thinks somebody's sick. She thinks it's one of the farmhands. It's a reindeer, <laughs> and that reindeer's name is Rudolph. His name is Rudy. <laughs> Rudy. I thought that is awesome. <laughs> that is my favorite one. That is my favorite one. But you know what? Your life isn't going to be like that. Nobody's is. Um. Your life is going to be like everybody else's. You're gonna live in the suburbs. You're gonna you're gonna drive a minivan for a while in your life. You know, you're gonna have soccer practice or football practice or ballet or saxophone lessons or whatever, and there'll be a, a rhythm to it, a mundaneness to it, and that's when you you, you just, sometimes you have to look back and say, what did I say I would do? I think the I think new I think new vows ought to include in excitement and in boredom. In sickness and in health, <clears throat> richer or poor, and in, in, in excitement and in boredom, because there's a, because there's a 
you know, I guess a boring thing to it. I don't, I don't think it's ever boring, boring for me, but there is a mundaneness to it. So. Now you're making me want to find that movie. Oh, okay. Well, you can find it later. <laughs> Google and DuckDuckGo will still be there. In any case, let's see. We got. You know, we probably need to get out of here because you need to go to the, that place. Yes, I have to work today. Me too. But I'm only working at Cyclone thing. Uh, I don't have to go to the woo thing today. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Roller coaster rides. Woo! But it's all good. Christmas town is here. We get to go to work. I get to go we to work. We get to have a job. We get to live indoors. <laughs> <laughs> I get to live indoors. Uh, yeah, that seems like a pretty low bar, but if you talk to people all the time, if you go out there and, and, and you volunteer and, and, and you see how some folk, folks live, there are people who don't get to live indoors today and aren't going to live indoors tomorrow. You don't have a job to complain about Sunday night that they got to go to work tomorrow. Monday's not that bad. No, it's not. Monday, Having a Monday that you get to go to is, 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 is a pretty good thing. All right, we need to get out of here <clears throat> because they've asked to go. Uh, so again, thank you again for all thank the well all the, all, all the well wishes and the and the thumbs up and the hearts and and the encouragement in, in in watching the videos and sharing them with your friends. Please again subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please um, click the little the, the little thing. So I think it's probably up there in the corner. I, th I think it's up there. I'm guessing. I think it's up there. Um, click that and subscribe. Um, and then comment. Please comment and share with your friends. Um, and share, don't just share with your married friends. Share with your single friends. <coughs> that need a little guidance. Because maybe that we explain, maybe we can explain things in a way that you're not comfortable because you're too close to them. Uh, and um, I don't care if they get mad at me. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. That's, what, that's, that's how it is. So, um, please. And if we add value, please let us know. All right, we need to get out of here maybe for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness yes. sakes, take care of yourself. And remember this. We love, love you, you and, and there's, there's nothing, nothing you can, you can do, do about, about it. it. We'll see you when we see you. Yes. Bye-bye now.